In this video, I'll teach you where to find coupon codes in Google Analytics 4. If you have the basic e-commerce tracking installed, uh, then basically the promo codes are tracked, but it's really well hidden inside the default reports. <laughs> Hello data people, I'm Robert from Clicks Don't Lie, and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let's jump into GA4. Now to see coupon codes in GA4, you have kind of three ways. So I'm gonna show you the uh, absolute fastest way. So here you go. If you type in here, order coupon, you get this, uh, this first one. This is like the insights. If you click on it, it'll appear here on the right. Now in this shop, there is no coupon codes used so that you don't see it. But if you have, you would see it. Now problem here, you don't see revenue or anything like that. So you need a bit more information. So from here, what you can do is you just go to monetization and then you need to find overview. And in overview, let's close this one. If we scroll down until we see here, order coupon. So in, again, there's no data just because this shop doesn't have it. But if you click into this, you should see more information. So you're not gonna, uh, you're gonna see uh, the e-commerce purchases, but also the, how many, you know, what's the revenue for that specific uh, coupon code. So in this case, it's empty coupon code. You see this one. By the way, data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role. That's why I've created this cheat sheet right here, which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. And the third way is to go to explore tab and then click on free form. And then we can just in the rows, we can delete this one. And what we can do is uh, scroll down, remove columns. And now we just come here where it says uh, metrics. No, sorry, dimensions. We come here where it says dimensions, click on this plus sign. And then we search for order, order coupon. There you go. Let's select that one, import it. And now we can double click on this. And you can see it appears here now. It's here in the rows and you see that this is what the order coupons would show. So they would show up here for active users. If you don't want active users, you can also change that to, for example, uh, if you click on the metrics here, there's this little plus and look, let's look for sessions. Sessions and for example, purchase revenue. This one import. And again, we can just double click on these and it will automatically uh, put them in the right column. So there you go, we have the sessions here and purchase revenue from uh, that specific uh, coupon code. So in this case, there's just this one. You, ha you have not set that you can ignore, but here you have uh, empty ones, or in your case, you should see uh, the name of the coupon code. Now, in case the coupon code is not working, it's probably because it's not installed correctly. So the coupon code is sent with the purchase event. Here I have an example from Simo Hava's blog. You can see that there's this event called purchase. And with that, we send out certain data. One of them is coupon code. So this usually triggers on the thank you page. So once people paid, this is where you would see it. So if this doesn't work, this probably means that the coupon code is missing here or it's just wrong or something's going wrong in that way. You would need to take a look at it yourself or ask your developer to actually take a look and also uh, fix it or install it. Great, now you know where to find the promo codes, but G4 is full of metrics and reports that you don't really need and using them will waste your time. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn the most useful reports in GA4.